In February 2022, as he announced the invasion of Ukraine, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned the world of consequences you have never faced in your history if the West tried to stop Russia. A report from the International Institute for Strategic Studies says fear of escalation has caused the West to hesitate in supplying arms to Kyiv. But nearly two years on, U.S. intelligence officials estimate Russia has lost more than 300,000 military personnel in Ukraine, nearly 90 percent of its pre-war army, much of it at the hands of weapons donated by the West. Report author William Alberg. Russia has less confidence now in their conventional capabilities because of everything they've lost in the Ukraine war. That means Moscow's shorter-range atomic weapons, known as non-strategic nuclear weapons designed for use on the battlefield, are becoming increasingly important to the Kremlin, according to Alberg. Russia has basically short-range and medium-range air-launched, ground-launched and sea-launched missiles capable of delivering nuclear warheads throughout the theater and able to hold all of NATO at risk. NATO itself lacks sort of a countervailing capability uh, to match the Russian capability. The report highlights a June paper published by Russian analyst Sergei Karaganov, in which he endorsed a tactical nuclear strike on a European state supportive of Ukraine in order to restore deterrence against NATO. At an October political conference in Russia, Putin himself picked out Karaganov among the audience. Putin said, yes, I've read all of your papers, and I don't think we need to strike NATO, but I do think I need additional options in terms of escalation with the US and NATO in order to maintain deterrence. So for them, they're constantly thinking about what, what sort of dosage of nuclear weapons would they need to make us acquiesce, to make us basically sue for peace without escalating the conflict beyond their control. Russia believes NATO does not have the resolve to respond with its own nuclear weapons, according to the report, which says it's vital for the West to recalibrate its own deterrence. NATO has said the use of any nuclear weapon by Russia in Ukraine would fundamentally change the nature of the conflict and would have consequences. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London.